Hi, I'm Ozzy Hall. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This video is a quick review of my Behringer ARP 2500, aka the BARP 2500. It's in a cabinet with four rows of 126 HP each. I'll start at a high level where I'll discuss the design objectives for this substantial modular. Next, I'll look in more detail at the modules used. Hopefully, this review can give you some design ideas and concepts that you can apply to your own 2500 system or any other modular system for that matter. At a very high level, my BARP 2500 system includes a two oscillator synth voice, another two oscillator synth voice, including noise and ring modulator, a one oscillator synth voice with multi-mode filter, sample and hold, and a ring modulator, a significant sequencer complement with four channels of quantizing. The system includes every type of module offered by Behringer in their 2500 series. It also includes a number of additional modules available from AmSense, which complement the BARP 2500 series. Examples include an oscillator mixer, extensions to the sequencer module, a new multi-mode filter, a keyboard percussion module, Note that I have videos on all of these AmSense modules. See a link above to a playlist. If you're enjoying this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's review the design objectives for this system. Number one, I wanted to include at least one example of every different type of 2500 module that was available from Behringer. Number two, I wanted to add whatever utilities and additional 2500 modules that were available from AmSense and I felt were not redundant to the BARP 2500 modules that I had. Number three, I wanted the majority of the modules to be from this BARP 2500 or AmSense series. Number four, I wanted to add a few compact modules for chores such as LFO, CV mixing, voltage processing, effects, etc., even if they were not a part of the BARP 2500 ecosystem. Number five, I wanted to set up several synth voices which naturally flowed from left to right and were typically contained on a single row. Number six, regarding module placement, I wanted to facilitate patching across rows to avoid duplicating utility modules such as noise, sample and hold, voltage processors, etc. With these design objectives in mind, let's look at the modules and their placements. So let's look at the first row with our two oscillator synth voice. We have in the 2500 series oscillator, oscillator, mix sequencer, dual envelope, and filt amp. In addition to that, we have the oscillator mixer, which is from AmSense, and an optional multi-mode filter, also from AmSense. So let's look a little bit closer. So on the far left, we have a dual LFO, and we're using this oscillator controller from the Behringer System 55 series. It has four CV inputs, a precision mixer, and the fourth input has an attenuator on it. And we're using that for the control voltages going out in particular to the two oscillators and perhaps over to the filter. Looking at row two, we have the 1027 sequencer from Behringer and we have some additional modules from AmSense. One is a sequencer expander as is the second one. This third module is the preset voltages module. Let's take a little bit closer look and it's hard to see underneath this multiple but this is a quantizer over to the left and this constitutes the 
sequencer complement, there are a total of seven outputs. To the right of that, we have a voltage processor. Then we have another module from AmSense, which is the keyboard percussion module. And then we've got the 1047 multimode filter that this percussion module works with to provide the functionality from the original ARP 1047 multimode filter. And that's row two. On row three, we have our second two oscillator voice. Oscillator one, oscillator two. This is a mod amp that has a ring modulator and a VCA. We also have a dual noise source, two envelopes, and another filt amp. That's the end of our synth audio path. Let's take a closer look. On the left, we have two LFOs. This is a crossfader module that I put into this space. I may change it out for something else later. I've placed the two oscillators so that they can patch easily into inputs A and B of the uh, mod amp. The noise is here and it can be patched in really into any of these three voices and not much to say about the envelope and filter amp but they do complete the synth voice over on the right here we have a couple of effects modules that will do delays and reverbs and so forth so that's row two row four has our last voice it's a single oscillator voice we're using a 1047 multimode filter as the filter in the voice. You'll recognize the dual envelopes. And we have the mod amp as our VCA, which gives us a ring modulator if we wanted it in this voice. And then over here on the left, we have another 2500 module, the dual sample and hold. And of course, like the noise, we can use this in any of the voices that we wanted to as a control element. Finally, on the left and the right, we have a System 55 921 oscillator, and the thing that it has that I like is the sync to the oscillator. None of the 2500 oscillators have a sync on them, and the sync is most important for me for the sync capability when using it as an LFO. Over on the right we have our output module which is the Behringer 305 which is from the System 100 series. So that completes the survey of all four rows in this four row system. We could have up to four voices and perhaps some others if they just used a VCA and noise for instance. It's a very flexible system that we could reconfigure in a number of ways but we've got uh, voice one, voice two, voice three and we also have this pingable multi-mode filter. The only other thing I wanted to mention is this 305 output module which is pretty flexible. Real briefly it has a four band parametric EQ section. It's got a four input mixer. It has uh, quarter inch outputs, 3.5 millimeter outputs. It has a headphone output. And it also has a tuning reference that can be either 220 hertz, 440 hertz, or 880 hertz, which is very helpful in this system. So. I really like this module, particularly as an output module. And that completes the survey of my BARP 2500 system. Let me know what you think of my choice of modules, and let me know what you think is missing in this system. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.